New at 10. Today, the FBI helped local worship leaders form active shooter plans in case of a worst case scenario. Way 31's Leandra Head went to the training conference and learned how religious leaders are now preparing. The FBI has done this training in other areas such as Birmingham, but today marks the first time that they've come to the Rocket City. I'm fortunate in that we take security very seriously at my synagogue, at Temple B'nai Shola, and uh, we have plans in place, but this, this reinforces the importance of having plans in place and um, taking security very seriously. Eric Burke is a rabbi at a temple in Huntsville and tells me all religious leaders should have an active shooter plan in place. And the attendance here tells you that the, this room is full, so it's not just a minority community like the Jewish community that takes this seriously. It's, it's every house of worship, uh, every religious institution here in Huntsville uh, is taking this matter very seriously. The FBI partnered with the Department of Homeland Security and InfraGuard to show church leaders how to develop active shooter plans and address hate crimes. FBI Director Paul Damon oversees a training session and emphasizes just how important it is. If you've, if you've watched the news in the last couple of years, you, think, you see Charleston, you see Pittsburgh, you see San Diego, Milwaukee, and the list continues. And so, again, it's preparation and prevention is the focus on the, of, of today's program. Berg plans to attend future training sessions and tells me he can never learn enough about keeping his fellow members safe. I've learned that every facility, every organization needs its own security plan that's tailored to their own unique special needs. In Huntsville, Leandra Head, Way 31 News. The training was attended by 115 worship leaders. The FBI says it plans to host the training again in Huntsville sometime in the near future.